ordinary people you see and observe even from a distance and you can conveniently conclude that they are emotionally connected. You will clearly see and know that the love between them isn't casual but deep. They can even tell you that each partner knows for a certainty what the other partner will do or say under certain circumstances. I recall when our sons were six and seven years old and they went to my wife and made a request. The response from my wife did not go the way they wanted, so they came to meet me. When I responded to them, they both echoed, Ah, Daddy, you just said exactly what Mommy said. Did you people discuss this before? But of course we didn't, and it happens all the time. Emotional connection is more of genuinely feeling a deep sense of attachment, respect, and care for the other person. It is a feeling of deep intimacy that goes beyond physical attraction. Emotionally connected couples feel extremely safe and secure with each other. However, note that before you can create an emotional connection with your spouse, you have to establish an emotional connection with yourself. You cannot give what you do not have. Establishing an emotional connection with yourself entails focusing on your feelings, letting go of judgment, and being kind. One step, thought and feeling at a time. As you gain self-connection, you will also gain self-love. Emotional connection is vital in a relationship. Even when you have everything else and lack emotional connection, the joy and happiness associated with marriage is incomplete. A lack of emotional connection can create a void that expensive gifts or gestures can't fill. You can now see that maintaining a connection emotionally with your spouse is a major responsibility for both parties. The good news is that it is possible to build it, sustain it, and restore it if you feel you are losing it. Emotionally connected couples care for each other's needs, wants, and desires genuinely. They are not in competition, but complement each other. They feel happy for the success of the other person, especially when their goals get fulfilled. They not only support, but drum support from everywhere possible for each other physically, emotionally, and mentally. They always engage in honest and open conversations where they speak their mind about anything and everything. They figure out where things went awful and how they can be better. They engage in active listening to what each other has to say and they make eye contact and nod their head to show presence and attention. They equally create opportunities for each other to vent and air their concerns without being judgmental or with any form of negativity. Emotionally connected couples know and accept each other's weaknesses, strengths, opportunities and threats. Under these broad headings, we have their personality, values, aspirations, fears, insecurities, vulnerabilities, and motivations. The partners aspire and seek to voluntarily participate in each other's hobbies and interests just to enable them spend more time together and connect through shared interests. They can cook for each other, take care of each other when sick, tired, all week and positively surprise each other with presence or presence either at work or a visit to parents, friends and relations. Another important way of knowing that you are emotionally connected couple is that none of you tries to fix each other or get him or her to behave exactly the way you want. You are sympathetic and empathetic towards each other you instantly know your partner's perspective and where he or she is coming from. Emotionally connected couples do strange, embarrassing things in the presence of each other without hiding or feeling embarrassed. This is because you can only do so where there is no fear of judgment. You are emotionally connected with your spouse if you are always patient with each other, especially when the other partner is being difficult unreasonable and irrational. You are also emotionally connected with your spouse when you share plenty of non-sexual intimate moments and you are each other's priority and not an option. 
You did not get married just for procreation and for the children only. You born well and have no intention of drifting apart even when the going gets extra tough. Having an emotional connection with your spouse brings joy, peace, and happiness into your lives. The emotionally connected couple is captivating and infectious, and they maintain social closeness. Couples need emotional connection to navigate the challenges of marriage, just as the captain uses the compass to navigate the ship and airplane. In our subsequent video, we shall be talking about what to do to be emotionally connected with your spouse. Our prayer is that you enjoy your marriage and connect deeply with your spouse because marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. Let us know what you think about this video in the comment section. You may also wish to like and share it with your family and friends. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.